In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to use the air raid Y crossing concept from the trips tied in in Madden 21. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the air raid offense, and in, in particular, the Y crossing concept, um, because the Y crossing concept, honestly, is probably one of the top two to three air raid passing concepts from the two by two spread. So I'm gonna go over kind of what that looks like from this, from a motion, and then we're gonna talk about how we can reinvent this concept in the trips tight end. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. And if you wanna learn my entire trips tight end offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. I highly believe that it's gonna be the best offense in Madden 22. Okay, so let's talk about this. So this is the basics of an air raid Y cross concept. Typically this is ran out of two by two. It can also be ran out of three by one. But basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that I'm gonna motion this triangle receiver to the, right, to the, to the left or to the right. And essentially what this is gonna really mean is we're gonna do something essentially like this right here. This is basically the concept. Uh, and then if you have like a post curl or a post dig route, this is pretty much the concept. And let me just show this 10 yard out route. One of the big things is that 10 yard out route does kind of bring, the, you see how it brings the zone drop coverage into the vicinity. So we're gonna give you a little tip in this video as to how you can kind of prevent that from the trip side in, but that's the basic gist of the concept. So basically what we've got is we've got, you know, the Y receiver is gonna run obviously the cross, Y cross, and then the um, the uh, other opposite side slot is going to run, you know, a, a, a 10 to five, basically a five to 10 yard out route. We're gonna do something different in Madden. Um, and the reason we're gonna do it is primarily because now if we get a man read, we're gonna run an out route typically. But if we get a zone read, we're gonna run a curl route. And so there's a really, really good way to do that from trips tied in that really doesn't require a lot of you know, innovation. All we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna put the running back on a table or a uh, option round, just like this, okay? And then the rest of the concept is honestly very similar. So what we're gonna do on the backside is we're gonna put triangle on a flat route, we're gonna put square on a smart routed dig route, and then we're going to take the tight end and we're gonna put him on a streak route. Now, really, really important that you understand this, and it's a really, really critical point, is that if they send pressure out of this, this play is okay. Um, if they do a blitz like this, let me just give you an example. So let's say they send pressure um, and they have two purples and you know this is basically what you get. So you know that they're gonna use her the, the running back right off the rip. Well, what we can do out of this is we can actually, this is pretty much the concept right here. Um, so what we can do out of this is we can also put the triangle receiver on a, on a drag or a hitch if we want to. Um, this is not designed to beat the blitz. If we wanted to make it so that it could beat the blitz, the biggest thing is you've gotta pay attention to your, um, Basically, it would be to move the tight end out of the way. So, uh, and what I mean by that is essentially what we could do is we could put the tight end on a delay fade, and then we could take triangle and we could motion him over on a streak. The reason this will work is it's a six man protection, so you're gonna have good protection. You're not gonna have any flat threat on that left side, which is not a big deal, especially against pressure. Um, but you're gonna basically be able to do something like this. So, essentially, this is the concept that you now created. As you can see, we're gonna motion him over on the streak. And now if they send heavy pressure, we have plenty of time to be able to make a read, okay? So that's a little trick that you can use. If you're worried about pressure, that's what I would do. Honestly though, um, this is not necessarily a play that we wanna call if we're really truly worried about pressure. This is more of a drop back game. And so basically what we're gonna do is if we stick with that original, original uh, setup, uh, you could also, you know, you could also, there's a lot of things you could do with this. But anyways, um, what you're going to see is our first read is vertical. Do we have the streak? Okay, typically we're not going to. 
But when we go to this crosser, you're going to see that this crosser route is going to get pretty good uh, separation depending on the coverage. Now, this is why it's really, really important for your running back to, and I find that this concept honestly works a little bit better in Ultimate Team. If you're in regs, you could also put the back on a ghost. Um, the ghost will work every time. Uh, occasionally, I do run into a little bit of an issue with the running back. So, like, another, another way you could run the same thing um, is to take triangle and put him on a hitch route. And then you can put the running back on, like, a little table route. Um, you could do that as well. It gives you a high-low. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, if I did something like this, this will move the corner out of the way. Snap him kind of right in here. You're going to see he's going to hold, 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 hold. And then you can check down to that route. Okay, but that's not really what we want to, um, you know, that's not really what we want to do. We want to be able to use an option route. Again, you can't be, and the reason why is because if it's man coverage and that option route will turn into an out route, which is really good for the play. So, anyway, let me show you that really quickly. So, you see here that this is the, you know, the basic concept. Um, and at the snap of the ball, we're just dropping back, circle receiver. Passing down and away, and as you can see, you're going to get it. Now, I will tell you that in in mud, in in regs as well, it does certainly make a lot of sense that you would want to roll out as you're running this play. So you have a quick flat read. If they, you know, if they're not playing flats, then you can throw the quick flat. If they are playing flats and they're sending pressure, then you can step up in the pocket, and I can throw this dig route. But as you see here, I've got this flat that I can hit. You know, if they're playing backed off coverage and they're really not doing anything, then I can hit that flat. Let me talk about really quickly just a simple little blitz that you're going to see, something like this right here. And um, let's just assume for the sake of the video that their user is going to take care of both receivers on the right. Then what you've got to do is say, okay, I got a blitz, so I'm going to throw the flat quick. Um, that's that's kind of what we're, we're getting at. Now, another way that you could run this concept that's actually really, I think, might even just be, it's better against the Blitz for sure, is to basically take this, and you're going to put your square receiver on an out, you're going to put your triangle on a curl, and you're going to get this set up. This is a lot better against the Blitz because if they Blitz you, you're going to know pretty quickly what that guy's doing. If he goes to the out route, you throw the curl. If he goes to the curl, you throw the out route. So if you're in a situation where you are you're you might be a little bit more worried about their blitz, this is a really, really good setup because they can't stop both of them out of like a base cover three. They can stop both of them out of like a, I mean, they can stop both out of them, you know, out of something like a cover two. But as you can see, we're, we're able to really, you know, kind of compact that passing concept into you know kind of a new it's the biggest is exactly the same read um it's exactly the same concept but it's just it's just different people on the route um, whereas if you use a dig route it's going to take a little bit longer for this to develop now let's go back to this concept right here so you're going to see here that again this crosser is going to get underneath a 30 yard cloud now, in Mutt, if you've got a little bit better route running, you've got a little bit faster players, uh, speed actually does matter a lot because when the, when the back settles his route up, that does help a lot. But if you don't, let's say you're playing in regs or whatever and you are still having issues, put the running back on a ghost route. You're going to see he's going to hold. See how he holds him there? And now I can throw this really easy. Typically, an option route will take care of that for you, but that's just something that you need to be aware of. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit about an, uh, another way to run this setup uh, with the motion over. So, if you use a dig route, um, you see we're gonna do, we're gonna use a dig route right here, and then what we're gonna do with our tight end um, is we're just going to put him on a delay fade, and then we're gonna put the running back on an option route just like before, and then what you're gonna see is we're gonna motion triangle over on a streak. This gives you really good protection. It also um, really does complete this concept. So you're gonna see here again, circle receiver on the sideline. And right there, the, the guy, I, I probably need to snap that a little bit sooner, but you see the concept. Now, um, let me just go over one other thing about this play. Uh, we talked about the blitz. If you're getting blitzed, what to do. Let's talk a little bit about like when they're using these deeper like these deeper zone drops. I uh, just want to give you like a, a little bit of a, you know, kind of deeper understanding of this. So if they're using deep zone drops like they've, 
like they are. Um, one of the things you have to realize is you just have to realize that this guy is going to be over in this area, okay? Uh, that's their user. And then you've got your dig, okay? Um, you certainly don't be afraid to put triangle on a hitch. Um, don't be afraid to do that. But if you, you step up in the pocket here and you just wait on this dig, you see where it gets to the field. So it's a high low between the dig and the option route, okay? Now why this is really good is because if they're going to stop the dig on the right, on the left, then they're gonna have to take, um, you know, they're gonna have to put a vertical hook out there, okay? And then now, if they're gonna stop the crosser, obviously they're gonna have to go use the crosser. And so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this right here where you can basically pass lead up the dig or you can hit the option route either one against this defense. So this is one of my favorite passing concepts in the game right now. I love running this. I run this in a lot of different ways. This is just one way to run the Y cross concept from this trip side in, but it's I think it's one of the best plays in the game, if not the best play. It's got great spacing, and it really forces them to have to play a very specific type of coverage to be able to beat it. So if you want to get my entire uh, trips tight end offensive guide, you can get that down in the description below. I think it's going to be the best offense next year. I think it was the best offense this year, to be honest. And I think next year you're going to see it even become better than it was this year. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the guide, it is down in the description.